I have no idea who is sending me this animal. Oh my gosh. Wow. Hello. Ha. Top of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? Shipping out a snake today, but more importantly, getting a snake in when we ship out. But here, let me give you guys a little inspiration in case you guys are feeling a little lethargic today and you need a little pick me up, somebody to help you get going. Get your cocoa blocks, by the way. Also, go get it with Hillary. Ooh, just go, go, go. Hillary, go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of her. How you guys doing today? You guys doing okay with your uh, No Sugar November? Anybody jump on? I know we got a couple people jumped on after the live stream, which I'm very proud of you guys for doing something big for yourself. Uh, while we're at it, Shane Kelly, Small Town Exotics, you guys go give him a check out. Let him know I sent you over there. Haven't seen Shane in quite a while. He's another one of those folks that Tennessee stole from us here in California. So, you guys go hit up Shane. See how he's doing for me. I'd appreciate it. That's the scrub python that I'm sending out to Mr. Sexton over at Heli Guy Serpents. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get this snake in the bag, in the box. The snake's already in the bag. Get it in the box, go to FedEx, and I've got, okay, 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 hold on a sec. Just a small note about the snake that I'm picking up. I have no idea who is sending me this animal. I'm assuming it's a snake. Somebody reached out to my buddy Bradley over Wrapped Up Reptiles, said they wanted to send me something. This is a while ago. They actually like, Bradley I like, talked to Hillary about it and like everybody went behind my back basically <laughs> to figure out this animal. Apparently it's something that I've wanted for a long time. Or I, I've said that I've wanted, maybe in Bradley's presence or maybe on a video, I don't know. I, I've I've said a lot of things about a lot of different things that I want, so um, it's, I'm totally in the dark here about what might be coming at me. Uh, but you guys are going to come with me. We're going to find out what it is together. So let's go. Skills lasted forever. Eli. What? What do you know? I know. Titanoboa. What about Titanoboa? That they're like as big as maybe a couple houses and they weren't and they didn't have things. They were a python and that's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> Leia Moon, what do you know? I know about the I, uh, what, what? I know about the pretty trees and the pretty animals, and I'm gonna ride a horse, a real horse. And that's how I know. Believe. Apparently it's too windy for my drone to handle outside. So it was gonna be beautiful. It's nice and blue on this side of the county. Oh well, let's get the snake or whatever it is. Well, I don't wanna spoil it for you guys, but it does say P. Regius on the box. How dare you? <laughs> well, they're doing homeschool inside, so we're gonna do this out here. It's too bright on one spot. How about a little bit something like this? I don't say what's in here, but it's a snake. <laughs> Is it a snake, you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's probably a snake too. Oh, you know what? It says who it's from. Right here on the thingy. I even got your phone number now. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so I won't keep you in suspense. It's from Luke Martin at Bronze Serpent Reptiles. Thanks, Luke. I'm excited to see what it is you sent me here. You know, you, you could have uh, reached out to me directly instead of going through Bradley, but it's all right. It's fine. You know, you wanted to do it this way. I got your name now. If you really didn't want me to know who you were, you wouldn't have put your name on the box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got... We got instructions. We got an open first and an open last. So that's cool. Yeah. Let's, let's open first and see what happens. All right, all right. Cusco and family. As you know, cure constrictors. Now, this is interesting because cure constrictors, I kind of thought that that's where this might be coming from. I had a thought that this might be a blue beauty snake from cure constrictors. That's what I was, when Bradley first told me there was something like this happening. That's what, that's what I thought. Why is it focusing on you, T? That's fine. Uh, Okay, as you know, cure constrictors suffered a tremendous loss this year. Yes, in the freeze of Texas and Louisiana, we virtually we lost virtually all our animals. Many years of hard work and dedication to our company, rare animals, and world's only animals were lost. In the wake of the devastation, I've spent months thinking and dreaming about how to move forward or to make a move at all. My first order of business is to send you this animal. When you heard what happened to us, you immediately reached out. Without hesitation, you offered yourself resources to try and help us. I can never thank you enough for caring so much for someone you don't personally know and still giving a phone call. I always said that when Cure Constrictors made its return, I would strive to give back to the community every chance I got. This animal represents the beginning of our quest to get and give back. My focus was and is Old World Colubrids. See, that's why I thought it was Blue Beauty Snake. I've made it my mission to make them more available and more understood. While I'm down, I wanted a way I could still bring light to these animals to keep them relevant in everyone's thoughts. What better way than send you one of the very few animals to survive the storm, one of the best looking of its kind, and one of the most well-mannered animals to put their stigma of meanness to rest. Oh, I believe you and your platform will do that. I know this animal will be well taken care of and in your audience's faces for years to come. While Cure Constrictors has a very long road ahead to come anywhere close to where we are, this is the new beginning. Our story starts here. Wait a minute. Okay. You guys are playing tricks on me. Cure Constrictors is not bronze. Okay, 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 okay. I think you guys are playing double tricks on me here, aren't you? I appreciate this. I really do. And you know what? Me reaching out and trying to help out where I can, that's just, you don't have to thank me for that. That's just something we all do. I think that's the right thing to do. Anybody in this community knows that, I think. So let okay. Okay, that's that. That's not a ball python. <laughs> you guys playing tricks on me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit of pee pee poo poo in there, T. <laughs> might, <laughs> might be a little stinky, stinky, McStinky Tons. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, man. That is definitely a blue beauty snake. <laughs> can I pet it? Yeah, you can pet it, T. Oh my, oh, oh. She's feeling, she's probably a little stressed out from the trip. She's doing a little mouth open there for a second. Hold on, T, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Does that, a little stinky? You got a little pee-pee poo-poo on you? Mm -hmm. Wow. She like she's trying to head to my chest. She probably the the, the warmth on my chest. Um, wow. Is it a boy or a sea? I don't know. I was trying to figure that out. I don't know because the package said that it was a ball python, <laughs> which it is clearly not. I don't know what to say. Thank you I so much. It. I've wanted a Daddy, blue beauty snake. What's up, T? Daddy, could you show me why you and mommy and Noah? Yeah, I will. We'll take a take a minute. We will. Hold on. Hold on. One sec. Okay, I, I've wanted a blue beauty snake for a very long time, and uh, I can't thank you enough. I think she's, I th he or she is actually in shed, so, wow, look at that. So cool, T. Wow. She's so Oh, they're just pretty. so different. They're so cool. It's like the... I wish this was my son. <laughs> well, we can share this snake. How about that? Ooh, okay. ooh, she's, she's doing she's opening the mouth at, at my arm a little bit, being like, "What's going on?" 
but not doing anything about it, but still doing some funky little, I'm gonna <laughs> open my mouth at you a little, you see this, you see this? <laughs> you, see, you see this, you see this? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, she's a little, little mouth open, like little, like, hey, what's going on, buddy? I got teeth in here, you know? <laughs> wow, dude. You funny rascal. <laughs> You see, when they're all coiled up like that, see, it means she's ready for some action. So just watch yourself. Just watch yourself. Just be a little cautious. That's slightly defensive posturing right there. <laughs> but she's not doing anything about it. You see how she's puffing out her neck like that? She's trying to make herself look bigger than she is. She or he. I don't know which. Um, man, thank you so much. It's so cool. I, I, I'm, I don't know what to say. Maybe I should open up the last... Okay, so it's a boy. His name is Marshall, Vietnamese, Bu Vietnamese Blue Beauty Rat Snake, produced by Adam Wolf back in 2018. From Cure Constrictors. Wow, dude. I am so stoked. Thank you so much for this snake. He is absolutely beautiful. Whoa, it's a he? Yeah, it's a he. And I have definitely wanted a Blue Beauty Snake for years now. And now just have never, I like, found it. the right time to pull okay. the trigger. I definitely want this, so <laughs> I can remember it to you. Okay, <laughs> okay Oh man, yep, you know what, there's gonna be some great footage of this snake going forward. I'm gonna get him cleaned off, I'm gonna go let him chill out in a little quarantine section, and uh, yeah, you guys will be seeing more of this can snake in the future. Can we bring this snake? Can we what? Bring it. Bring it where? Bring it to the butterfly thing. The butterfly thing? Is there a butterfly thing today?